Happy birthday! Going a little behind, gotta get my hair up. I showered. Mondays are my shower day. They're my wash my hair day. I did that this morning. Totally forgetting I had to do a workout today. So, low intensity. Just like any other low intensity exercise, you can always make it high intensity if you want it to be. We're using fives and tens, just like we did last time. Fives and ten pound dumbbells. Take you yourself for a dumbbell. <laughs> Just ignore me. All right, so we are doing time under tension. Lots of time under tension. That means long endurance sets. Okay, minimal to no breaks. I mean, no breaks. Let's be honest. Okay. If you choose to pick cardio in between sets, you're welcome to take a 30 second break before moving on. I want you to, so, uh, let's see. I didn't think about how I was gonna explain this. Probably would have been a good idea. Six P's. Why do you remember the six P's? Proper planning prevents piss poor performance. And if you remember the six P's, you won't look like a piss face. Anyway, if I could restart it, I would, but this is take three and I'm done. So this is the one we're going with. With that being said, low intensity option, we are not adding any cardio in. If you want a higher intensity option, you're gonna add a cardio aspect in, in between each uh, lift, okay? After your cardio option, you can take a 30 second break and then go into your next lift. I want that lift to be a slight active recovery. So while you obviously are still working, you're recovering the cardio, all right? Your aerobic system while you're sitting there pumping out reps, right? This is apparently reps in like sign language, I don't know. People who watch my videos, what's wrong with y'all? All right, so we're gonna start off by warming up. Jumping jacks, high knees, jog it out in place, okay? My hair is gonna come down to sit nice and loose. Don't wanna mess it up. I did, like I said, just wash it. I'm probably gonna have to freaking dry shampoo it already. But jumping jacks, low intensity, keeping it right here, all right? want a low impact, clap, clap though, okay? Anybody taking any of my classes, train with me, see that I got that hair. Slap, clap, I want audible jumping jacks, all right? High knees, right here you can just do a straight crossover. Focus on the abs if you're gonna keep it low impact. Otherwise, hands are right under the chest. Tap, 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 all right? So I don't care, just make sure you're moving right now. Or jogging in place, right? You're like one of those ladies in the mall that like walk. Right, there we go, there we go, there we go. There, that's what we are, that's what we are. In place, we're mall walking.
footage that you capture with this sucker. All right, so if you don't already, make sure you get your fives and your tens. Dumbbells. All right, we're not dumbbells anymore. Not anymore. We know what's going on. All right. Woo! Is that a picture? No, man. Keep warming up, right? Here we go. Again, you ever took any of my classes? There's always an aspect I did not plan for where I was like, whoo! All right, guys, keep moving. Keep going. And then I was messing with something. So, nothing new. Let's warm up the rotator cuffs. Horizontal abduction with hamstring curl butt. start charging because I'm gonna someday someday I'll have my shit together right now I'm still getting my shit together see up up I never warm up too much either guy you're like why don't you stop the video Sam you know what I might find a video editor because down in weight eventually but I'm gonna start with tens work my way down as it starts to get too intense so two minutes never sacrifice form for weight all right don't let your ego come and take over so on this you're pressing straight overhead the elbows come just below 90 not too far abs are tight Shoulders are back, stabilize behind the chest and down away from your ears. So you're not doing this every time you press. You're thinking of dropping your shoulder blades down your back every time you press up. You should actually just be down your back and stay there. But a lot of people's aren't. So every time you press the weights up, you're pushing the shoulders the other way down your back. Tension, baby. Ugh. All right, one minute. I'm going down. Five. It feels really weird because they're very light, but at the same time, my shoulders are fatigued, so my arms don't want to move. But I know the weight is not overly heavy. Make sure you're breathing. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. 30 seconds, come on. Suffering with ya. That's why I do these videos, y'all. Abs in tight, knees are soft. Tailbone's tucked in, so you're not arching your back, you're not leaning forward all weird. Woo! I gotta do it, it hurts. I gotta get some energy out. All right, 10 seconds. Anybody can do anything for 10 seconds. So these suck the worst of all. All right, that's why I got them out of the way first and foremost. Yes. Oh, hot diggity. That did not feel good. You have five. 
five seconds roughly. Squat cross taps. You're welcome to hold weights in your hand if you want. Otherwise, no weight. So right here, cross. Tap, opposite elbow to knee. If you don't have weight, it's just right here. All right, sit back. Deep hinge through the hips. Shoulders stabilized. Behind chest, abs tight. Weight in the heels. Don't cheat like I just did. Actually tap your elbow to your knee. Abs, abs. Every single time you're doing an ab crunch. Shoulders down away from your ears. Abs tight, set it back. Hip up, hip up. Put another dive in the jukebox, baby. Not cool. There we go. My endurance is not what it was. Really need to get that in check. So notice how I'm not bringing my elbow down to meet my knee. My knee comes up to meet my elbow. I'm in a front rack position. I'm just crossing my elbow over some. Come on. 20 seconds, y'all. Woo! You got this. Don't, don't sit there, bitch. Suck it up, Buttercup. Let's go. Okay, so I missed out my timer. Just a little bit, though. 10 seconds. A good trainer doesn't count properly. And they never know what time you're actually you have left. You actually have left. Woo! Biceps curl. Starting heavier. Going down. Talking. It's making my throat dry. Mm. Out one up my nose. That's fun. Hammer curl. So we're doing a hammer curl. Hang on. Let me compose myself. Woo! Here we go. I'm really seriously about water up my nose. That does not feel good. Okay, I'm now trying to get up my nose. <laughs> so, shoulders are stabilized behind your chest. Elbows, do not move. Notice how I don't fully come down. I come right until just before I hit that straight arm point, right there. All right, shoulders back. Super, super common thing is people's shoulders want to round forward. So as the weight, they do want, they want to do that. Don't let that happen. Keep your shoulders stabilized behind your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Drop them down your back. Really feel that bicep elongate, right? Work the eccentric contraction where you're lengthening the muscle. I don't know what that goes. What's it gonna look like? I'm just looking at this video, right? Forty five. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, I'm gonna stick with these friends. Ah. Woo! Come on. If I do it, you do it. Don't make me make these videos or not then. Better be doing it with me. Better not be cheating. Better not be whipping out. Suck it up and move. No credit. All right, here's where you give yourself that credit. You tell yourself, I'm strong, I've got this. Five seconds, nothing. Ugh. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna attempt to drink this through my mouth and not my nose this time. Don't drink too much at one time. Reverse lunges are coming up next. No wait, wait. Grip floats your boat, y'all. So when you're doing your reverse lunge, 90 degrees. You want perfect 90 degree angles between both your legs. Your shoulders stay stacked over your hips. Your abs are extremely tight. The weight is in your front heel. This back leg is there for balance purposes only. Keeping your face from hitting the floor. All right? Otherwise, 
Weight is in that front heel. Front heel. Pretend there is a pole going down through your head, down through your body. You're on that pole. All right? Nice straight lines. Woo! Abs are solid. Drive through the heels, squeeze in the glutes. Wait 
on your hips right now. Pinch. Still pinching. Pinch harder. Sucking it in. All right. Pinch. Still pinching. Barely tapping those glutes. No fancy cams. Like halfway range of motion. Get full range of motion by squeezing your glutes all the way up. But don't force. If you can feel your low back, you're not focusing on pinching your glutes. You're just shoving your hips up in the air, pumping the air. No air humping, guys. Not here. 10 seconds. Pinch. Squeeze the entire time. Your butt should be on massive fire. <laughs> not just fire, but massive fire. Last super quick workout. Plank. Great. Two. One. This is a two minute plank, guys. You can do it. Don't want to hear it. Just do it. All right. Tuck the tailbone in. Make sure you're not rounding the upper body. The upper back should not round like this. Hands should be separate. So when you go to tuck your tailbone in, I always like to tell clients put your butt up in the air, tuck your tailbone in like you're a bad dog, and then bring your hips down so they're in line with your shoulders. That should make a nice flat back. So if you feel your chest squeezing a lot, you're going to get that rounded back. That's compensation for what the abs and the core muscles should be doing. So don't let that happen. You're going to pick your butt up, tuck it under, and just pull the hips down. It should set you up right. Quad should be engaged. Glute should have a $100 pitch between them. We're halfway there. on Wednesday. You can do burpees. If you like burpees and you want to do them again on Wednesday, 
That's cool, all right? So, you were just given four cardio options, right? Hit one of those in between each lift, 30 seconds only break after the cardio, then go right into the lift for two minutes again, okay? Every single lift is two minutes. Even those mother efforts, tricep dips. I should, I'm glad. After, this is what happens, right? When I'm doing it, I'm like, God, why did I do this? But then afterwards, I'm like, hey, me. <gasps> it's so cool. So, do them, right? Push yourself through. Applaud yourself at the end. You'll feel good. You'll be glad you did it, just like every other workout. When you're doing it, it doesn't always feel good, but when you're done, you're like, God, I'm so glad I did it. I feel good, blah, 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 right? I'm so cool. So, hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed the mall walking warm up. Pretty sure I'm gonna start incorporating that into all my war uh, warm ups and workouts. That's that's some legit shit over there. They did it back there. Anyway, start this week off awesome. All right, let the shit on the outside be the shit on the outside. So you're doing your workouts. Come here, be 100% present. Be just focus on every muscle you're working when you're working it. Tune into your workout. All that can stay away 20, 30, 45 minutes. It's it's going to benefit you in the end. So, I forgot about this thing. <gasps> what a nerd. Oh, God. Anyway. All right, guys. I'll see you Wednesday. Tomorrow is yoga. Down, down dog app. Go get it. Go download it. If you don't have it already, they have free version and pro version, I believe. Um, when I started it, they had a free version at least. Um, that's what I use for yoga. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah, Tuesday's yoga day, so you're not gonna see anything from me. Maybe some snippets here and there on Instagram, but otherwise, um, I'll see you Wednesday. It's like 4.30 in the afternoon. Brain shut down like three hours ago, so.